Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on. It's a clock in, clock out, kind of like a timesheet. You select a name. I can select the one here. Right now, I got everybody clocked in. So, Kim, you clock in by clicking this, and then when they're done, they can clock out. It keeps track of the hours, and then over here, it keeps track of the total amount for each clock in and clock out. I will be demonstrating how to put this together. It is written on Google Sheets with Google Apps Script. And uh, I can show you a little demo here. So I got Kim that's clocked in. I'm going to clock her out. So it's going to put a clock out date and hours. Keep track of the total. I can clock her back in. She's clocked back in. Mark, I'm going to go select him. I'm going to clock him back out. I'm going to clock John back out. And I'm going to clock Steve out. And you can see they're accumulating their time over here. And I'm going to clock Kim back out. And I do have warnings. Say I want to clock out Kim again. It's going to tell me that I need to clock her in first. So I can clock her back in. And I can click this again. It's going to say you need to clock out before you clock back in. So it does just a simple clock in, clock out with hours and keeps track of the totals. I get these names over here from this sheet that I keep track of and I can just keep adding names to load this drop down. So I'm going to show you how I put this together, kind of a step-by-step -step process. Before we get started, if you're interested in more videos like this one, subscribe to this channel. Also, let me know your feedback from this video. So let's get started. Here I'm on a new Google Sheet. I'm going to give it a name. There's my name. Clock in and out. Next I'm going to name my sheets down below. First one's going to be main sheet. Next one's going to be employees. And for my employee sheet, I'm just going to put name up here. Make it look a little nice. And I'm just going to add some names. And you can add any name you want here. There's my name. So my employee sheet is complete here. Now I'm going to go back over to main. I'm going to get all this, all the necessary titles put in here. So I'm going to go name, in, out, hours, name, hours, total. Let's make it total hours. Next, I'm going to create my, my drop-down list and my two buttons. Now I'm going to create my data validation. I got it set on B1. I'm going to go ahead and select my employee sheet. I like this. And now when I get to Kim here, I'm going to just change this to a 1,000 so I can have it thousand different names. It'll load in. Hit save. I'm going to go back over to my main sheet. Now I got the drop down list. Next I'm going to create two buttons. One for clock in and one for clock out. So I'm going to go to drawings. Shapes. Hit the first one here. Clock in. Bold. I'm going to center it. There's my first button. I'll make it a little smaller. Save. I'm going to put it about right here. I'm going to create another button for clock out. Doing the same process. There I have my two buttons. Uh, next, I'm going to get started on Google App Script. So I'm going to go up to Tools and I'm going to hit Script Editor. 
First thing we're going to do is we're going to give this project a name. Hit OK. And now what I'm going to do to make this thing go quicker is I'm just going to copy and paste. There's three functions that I wrote for this. I'm going to copy and paste them into this and I'm just going to go through and explain them. So here I got a copy. I'm going to paste it. So I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. I'm going to hit save. Alright, so here I got my first function clocked in. Uh, my second function is clock out and my third function is total hours. So this first function correlates with this button here, clock in, and we're going to attach it here later. But in this, what I'm doing is I'm defining active spreadsheet. I'm doing the main sheet, defining the main sheet. And I'm getting the last row that's populated on the main sheet, which if I had a lot of clocked in records here, it'll grab the last one, whatever row number that is. From there, I'm doing a for loop on that last row. So I'm going to start with 5, which is my first row of this table here. I'm going to loop through until I get to the last record. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to check if there is a clocked in record. So I'm taking B1, B1, which is here in my drop down. And I'm seeing if that equals anything, any name here where there is zero clocked out. So I'm basically cutting through here looking for a clocked in record. And that would be where clocked out is nothing. And if I find something, then I'm going to send a warning message. Need to clock out before clocking in. Because I'm just going to, that's a check just to make sure that whoever's clocking in, to make sure they clocked out their last record. So then, if it clears this air here, so say I can't find anything, then I'm going to set a new record. So I'm going to set, grab whatever's on B1, B1, and set the last row, plus 1. So we're going to go, whatever's last populated, we're going to go take the next row, and we're going to put the name, and I'm setting a font size of 12, and then I'm setting a date here. New date is here for the next column, which is 2 which is the in. And I'm setting a format of it here. That's my format. I'm making sure it goes to the left. The, the data goes left in the cell and I'm setting a font size of 12. So that is my clocked in function. My clocked out function, I kind of do the same thing, declaring the active sheets, declaring my main sheet, declaring the last row, Again, looking for the last row populated. I got another variable here I'm using as found record. And I'm kind of doing the opposite here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm taking the for loop. I'm looping through, starting at 5, going through my last row that's populated. And now I'm actually trying to find a clocked in record. So here if it equals, if I find something where the clocked out is nothing, found a name with clocked out is nothing, that means I found a clocked in record. So now I'm going to do an update to that record. So I'm going to add a date here, new date, to the third column, which is the out. Set to the number format, which would be the date. I'm moving it left in the cell and I'm doing a font size of 12. Uh, the next statement is I'm totaling up the hour, so I'm going to subtract column 3, which is the out column, with the in column, column 2, and I'm doing a division by, it'll come up with milliseconds, so I have to do divide by, to take this out of the milliseconds, take this out of the seconds, and take this out of the minutes, and then I get to derived hours, which would be my total time. And then from there, I'm taking, I'm setting the value for column four, which is the hours. And I'm doing a two fixed, which is rounding it to two decimal places. I'm setting a number format to this. So it show, always shows two, two digits. I'm moving it left in the column, and I'm setting it to 12. 
So as I'm looping through here, and if I don't find a clocked in record, I'm going to say, well, this will, this says found record equal true. But if it does, if it doesn't find a record and equals false, then I'm going to say need to clock in first. So I didn't find a clocked in record, and they're trying to clock out, so they're under realization that they have to have a clocked in record. And then the final function I'm calling is total hours, and I'll go through that. So my final function is total hours. I'm defining my active sheets, I'm defining main sheet, and defining the last row of the main sheet. Here I have an array of totals. And this is where I'm basically keeping track of all the totals of the records that we go through. So again, I'm looping through. I'm going through all the records, starting with row 5, going down to my last record. And I'm looking for the rate, which is column 4, which would be my hours, and where am I? the name, which would be column 1. And I got a found record of equal false. So now what I'm doing is I'm looping through my array. So initially, my array is going to be empty. So it's going to initially say, okay, no records found. It's not going to trigger this variable found record. So it's going to come down here and say, okay, that equals false. And I do have a rate. It's not equal to nothing. I'm going to push it to my array. And then we're going to go back up to the next row. We'll say the same name is in the second spot. So now it it does find the name, and there is a rate. Well, it's going to go in my array and find the name and adjust the rate. So it's going to add it to the total that's already in the array. So there, there should be only one name, one record name in my array with a rate. And I'm just going to keep adding to that rate as it's going through the records. So that's the gist of this. It just keeps cycling through. If it's on the array, it adds it. If it's not on the array, it adds a record. And then from there, it'll just keep updating that record. So then the last part of this is clear data. So I'm going to clear out this range over here. And then I'm going to display it. So I'm going to go through my array for every record I got, all the totals, and I'm going to display it. So I got, I'm starting with row 5, and the first, I'm not incrementing, I'm just starting with row 5, and then the first part of my array, which is 0, so it'll be still be 5. And I'm going to column 6, column 7, 6, I'm adding the name, 7, I'm adding the rate. And then when it comes here, it'll go to, it'll be the, one for I, so then it'll be row six, row six, same thing, populates it down. And this is my value out of the array, and I'm doing a font size of 12. So that is my functions. I'm going to go back over here. Now I'm going to assign those functions to my buttons. So I'm going to right click here, hit the, the three dots here, and assign script. I'm going to say clock in, and it's got to be this spelled the same as what you have over in your function. So hit OK. That says clocked in. So now I'm going to do the clocked out. I'm going to right click, hit the dots, sign script, hit clock out, hit OK. So that's assigned. And from there, from there I can start running my script. So I'm going to hit clock in. It's probably going to take me through authorization. Click advanced. Go to unsafe and allow. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a name. And hit clocked in. There we go. We got John clocked in. I can select another name, Steve, and clock in. And now I can go back up to John, clock him out, 
And I can go to Steve and clock him out. And as you can see, they say zero here because they just been there for seconds. So they didn't get much time to put in. So that's, that's the gist of this software. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.